and gentlemen, special treat today. We're driving a 2018 718 Cayman GTS. This is the highest trim with the four cylinder turbo engine. With that said, let's see how this bad boy drives. Now Porsche did a great job keeping the weight down. This car weighs around 3,040 pounds. Steering is, for an EPS, very, very impressive. You get a lot of feedback, extremely accurate, good weighting, a little bit lighter than I would have expected, if I'm being honest. And the actual ratio of the, of the rack, the speed of it, is very appropriate. The car, the front end, doesn't feel too darty. It's closer to telepathic, if anything. I mean, the Cayman is just such a beautifully balanced car. Oh my God, beautiful pedal placement. Heel toe is a cinch. Great throttle response, even from a turbocharged four cylinder. There is a little bit of lag at the lower revs. But it builds in a, in a pretty linear way as you as you get up higher on the rev range, which is not really typical for a turbo. So Porsche did a great job tuning this engine. McPherson strut front suspension. But still, not really getting much understeer. Again, Porsche does a great job. I've driven the GTS 4.0 as well at the Porsche Experience Center. And I was very impressed by even with throttle input, it was it was quite resilient to understeer mid corner. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is a great EPS. One of the best EPS, you know, in the in the Cayman, the GTS, and the GT4. It's just so good. There are limitations compared to a hydraulic rack, of course, but this is just about as good as an EPS can get. I have PASM disabled, sport exhaust on. The reason being, this road's a little bit too bumpy for, uh... let's do a little acceleration test. Plenty of pickup. good brakes, very linear, very easy to modulate, not too grabby. All the inputs feel very cohesive. You're looking at the steering, the, the transmission, the brakes, the throttle response, the clutch weight. I love the clutch engagement on Porsches too, very easy to feel. But if I have to nitpick, I will say that the transmission is not the strong suit. And I don't mean just the gearing, and everyone hears about how the gearing is a little bit too long on Caymans. And while I agree with that, the thing that bothers me more, actually entering into gear, it is quite positive, but I don't like that, that lateral slop is just a bit excessive. Throws are a little bit longer than I would like to, but again, nitpicking here. Despite what people would say, 50-50 weight distribution is not ideal. You actually want a slight bias to the rear. And the Cayman just gets it so good. So good. Seating position in Porsches is always close to ideal. In the older generations, I didn't like the pedal placement, but in these newer generations, they have the pedal placement on lock. Now, of course, the elephant in the room, the engine sound. It does not sound like a Subaru, because the Subarus have the... Uh, while they also do have a boxer four that's often turbocharged, 
they they have unequal like headers, which gives it that soupy rumble. You don't get the soupy rumble here. It is raspy, it is aggressive, but it's not nearly as musical or as beautiful as that naturally aspirated flat six from the 981 generation or also in the um, GT4s. Man, the feedback in the steering, I am, I'm impressed. Very good EPS. I would personally want the naturally aspirated six cylinder, but if you don't mind the, the lack of musicality to the engine note, this is a pretty well balanced car. It's, it's got that Porsche fit and finish. The interior quality is, is on point. Build quality is not lacking in any way. Again, the transmission, I'm not sure why there's so much lateral slop. It does seem a bit out of character for a car like this when everything else is so buttoned down. Why does this slip through the crack? I know the GT4 has a much tighter uh, gear selector. And the one other critique I would have of this car is that it's almost too good, it's almost too neutral, where if you're a power oversteer aficionado like I am, it can almost be a little bit, a little bit bland, a little bit vanilla. And while you can definitely induce some oversteer, especially on the track, it's not as playful on the street compared to some other cars in a similar price range. But with that being said, let me know what you guys think of the turbo four cylinder 2.5 liter 718 GTS. And much love my friends, and I'll see you guys in that next one. Plenty of pickup. good brakes, very linear, very easy to modulate, not too grabby. All the inputs feel very cohesive. 